Welcome back, Odoers. My name is Jose Ignacio. Today we're going to talk about subcontracting. What is subcontracting, you ask? Well, sometimes a company doesn't have the resources necessary to manufacture a product that they want to sell. In such a case, they can hire a subcontractor to manufacture the product for them. Subcontracting has benefits for both the subcontractor and the contracting company. Among other things, it allows subcontractors to specialize in the tasks that they're good at, and it helps contracting companies adapt to changing economic conditions as well. Inside of this video, we're going to be discussing basic subcontracting, in which the subcontractor is responsible for sourcing the components used for manufacturing subcontracted products. In the following videos, we're going to cover some ways that you can supply the subcontractor with components yourself. But today, let's keep it simple. All right, before we can use subcontracting inside of Odoo, we first have to enable it. So to do so, I'm actually going to open up the manufacturing application over here. And now we want to select configuration and settings. We're always here. Now over here under the operations heading, I need to make sure that the checkbox that is next to, you guessed it, subcontracting itself right there is selected. And once that I've already done that, you want to hit save in case you haven't. So make sure you check both and save it. Now with this setting enabled, a few new features become available inside of Odoo. On products, bill of materials, or bombs for those acronym lovers, we're going to be able to select subcontracting as the bomb type and specify one or more subcontractors who will manufacture the product. Inside of the inventory app, which I'm going to go into right now over here, two subcontracting specific routes become available. We have both the resupply subcontractor routes as well as the dropship subcontractor route over here on the right. These can be assigned to products on their product forms themselves. Now these routes will be covered in a future video, but today we're going to show you how to configure a product and its bomb so that we can subcontract its production. So to do so, we actually want to go back to our main dashboard over here. And now we need to open up once again, the inventory app. I did that in case you haven't done this yet and you were on a different screen. So right now we want to select products and products. Great. Now first I need to select in our case, the product that I like to talk about, which is the tricycle. Been doing a lot of stuff with bikes lately, I feel. Okay. Once that we're inside of here, we want to make our way over to the purchase tab. Now, I've already added Bike Friends, which happens to be our vendor right there. This is the subcontractor that manufactures our tricycle product. I've also specified the price that we pay them for each tricycle. 50 bucks. Pretty affordable. Now next, I want to select the inventory tab so that we can talk about, you guessed it, the routes in here. Now, I've enabled the buy route that we have right there, which tells Odoo that we will buy the product and then have it shipped to us. This means a receipt will be created when we confirm a purchase order for the product. The receipt is then processed when we receive the product. Now I could enable the replenish on order, which happens to be the MTO route right below it as well, which makes it so that the purchase orders are automatically created upon confirmation of a sales order. However, this route isn't strictly necessary for subcontracted products. So I'm just going to show you the flow as it begins with a purchase order. In addition, I could select the dropship route, which you were probably also wondering about down there. Not the first one, dropship route only instead of the buy route. If I did that, the subcontractor would ship the product directly to the customer instead of sending it back to us. In that case, a confirmed purchase order would create a dropship order instead of a receipt order. So remember that a confirmed purchase order will create a dropship order not a receipt order. All right, now that we've configured the product, I think it's time for us to go check out that bomb. So in order for us to do that, I'm gonna click on the bill of material smart button up here at the top. And then we wanna select the bomb for the tricycle. Let's take a look at that. So the very first thing I need you to take a look at is the bomb type. As you checked over here on the right, you'll notice it selected the subcontracting option. This tells Odoo that this bomb's corresponding product is manufactured by a subcontractor. Which subcontractor, you ask? Well, we can actually specify that in the subcontractors field right below it. You can specify multiple subcontractors, but for our tricycle product, we only have one, Bike Friends. Now, if you're also an expert bomb maker, like me, you may think it's time to add components down below over here. However, we actually don't need to add components when using the basic subcontracting workflow. That's because the subcontractor is responsible for every element of manufacturing, including the required components. So once a product is configured for basic subcontracting, the workflow for buying it is similar to the workflow for purchasing any product. 
The main difference is that we have to wait for the subcontractor to manufacture the product before they can actually ship it. We can even estimate the delivery date using lead times, which I'm going to be covering in a video later in this series. All right, let's go to our actual workflow now. So we're going to start out by creating a purchase order to buy the subcontracted product from the subcontractor. Can't show you anything till I create something like a PO. So to do so, we're actually gonna go out of inventory back to our main database. And you guessed it, I'm going to search for and open up the purchase app. Now we wanna select orders up here at the top and purchase orders, actually. Great. Now we need to select new. Top button over there to the left. Now on the new purchase order, I'm going to add the subcontractor, which we said is Bike Friends, not Bike World. I don't know why I did that, I'm sorry. So that's for the vendor field right there. Then I actually need to add a product, so select it down there in the products, and we're gonna pick, well, it's the tricycle that we're looking for. Thank goodness for Odoo Auto completing. And now that we're done, all I actually have to do is confirm this order right over there. And once I do that, look at that. Smart buttons appear right at the top of the page. Now let's say that a few days have passed and the subcontractor has just delivered the tricycle to our warehouse. Awesome, that's the greatest news ever. So all that we need to do now is open up the receipt order by clicking on the receipt smart button over here. Or you can also click on the receive products button that was above the purchase order. I'm gonna go back just to talk about that. See right there, we could do that. But I use the button. So once that we've opened the receipt, we just need to click validate right there. And the product is entered into our inventory. It's really that simple. And well, it's time to go today. That's it for today, friends. You now know how to configure products for the basics of contracting workflow. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series, where we're gonna learn how to supply subcontractors with components and use lead times to estimate delivery dates. I'm gonna see you soon, Odoors, and if I don't, go grab a snack. Lays, please still sponsor me. I'm running out of chips. Bye.